I, I'm waiting for this moment <laughs> for a long time. I'm doing my, um, <clears throat> my um, digging into charts, into weird and sometimes dark charts or dark situation. I really like exploring uh, people or situation or um, historical um, um, connections between transits, people, and, and, and so on. And there is one chart that I'm uh, looking at for a few years. It was since I started my analyst training, this chart um, of uh, this, uh, one of the, <laughs> one of the carriers of uh, the channel of leadership for good or bad, yes, Adolf Hitler. I started um, uh, inquiring and digging into his chart when I was in the first year of the analyst training and since then I'm doing it all the time. And I prepared this long ago uh, and I didn't find the correct timing to share what's going on on this chart. And I chose today because Hitler has um, the channel of judgment in the third line uh, as a combination of his two moons, which I find really interesting. So I will talk to you a little bit about this uh, interesting chart. Um, I have so much to say, but I just try to uh, put it um, in a small presentation, not to to not overwhelm and not to do an analysis here, but there are some things that are, that pop and we can see them just pop to our eyes and we can see the the beautiful way that the program displays itself and yes, it is beautiful, beautiful is not bad or good, it's just the way the program displays itself and um, for me that I grew up in um, Jewish Jewish Israeli home where my mother and my father had connection to the Holocaust and parts of the families were killed. I was born, I was raised with this energy and in Israel you are raised in this energy, it depends on the where you where your parents came from but it's it's it was a huge part of my um, uh, growing up um, surrounding and for me it was very healing to look at this completely from a non-personal way of looking at the program and it really helped me to see that um, it's just a display of the, pro of the program and a good friend of mine also said that uh, what happened in the in the, with the Nazi um, um, phenomena is actually a very good example of, of one part or one aspect of the cross of planning. So it, it is interesting to watch this. So let's look at it. First of all, you know, the cross of wishes that tries to bring new value, new order into the old values um, and um, has this fantasy to change uh, change the world for the better uh, and it is about the collective and the, the, the bringing bringing mutation into the collective and the tribe very very interesting and, and this is really what his uh, manifesto design uh, was designed to do now let's see the first thing is of course the the gate of uh, of um, influence the the 31st gate uh, in detriment, in, in, in the first line, in detriment, the, the line is called manifestation, and the detriment says the unusual expression of leadership. And this is this was it. It was unusual uh, expression of leadership, and we can see that the channel of the alpha is connecting this uh, design Earth manifestation with two. Um, um, activations in the seventh gate, the gate of the army, the role of the self. So we had the unconscious role of the administrator and the conscious role of the authoritarian. Um, and then let's look at, at the other parts of the cross, uh, the 41st gate, uh, the coolness or the hot-headed, <laughs> the gate of fantasy, the drive to go to begin new experiences. And this was really 
uh, interesting to see the, the, um, the way it was changing between the coolness of a splenic manifesto and the hot-headed that lost it every time again and again. Now, the personality sun, victimization, the courage to stand by one's convictions, or where victimization leads to appeasement and suffering. And we know that he was suffering, but also he caused a lot of suffering. And, and again, it's not him, it's the whole situation. We will look at this, but his design was uh, the initiator of many things. He's a manifesto, so he could, he could um, initiate situations and, and process. Um, the 50th gate, the gate of values, consistency, when co in, in, the, in, the, um, in the fifth line, consistency. When continuity has brought success, it should not be tempered with. This is the, um, the lesson of this line and the two sides, the conservative awareness that basic principles should not be abandoned casually or when effectively stimulated, the drive to rebel against basic principles. And we know that Hitler was, had these two sides in him. Another interesting thing, the line, the very famous line, which is now in our Neptune in the transits, the 37th uh, gate uh, in the fifth line, the 37th is the gate of friendship and the gate of the family. And in the fifth line, it is called love. And here we see the display of the detrimental side, dependency turning love into hate which is very, very interesting, emotional dependency turning love into hate. And this is his unconscious mass, um, immat immature, unconscious energy. And another interesting thing is to look at his, both his Plutos are in the 20th gate, at the gate of the now, in the fifth line, in detriment, realism where reality creates dissatisfaction and adds to instability. And it's very interesting because we are going to talk about, <laughs> about <laughs> dissatisfaction, okay? So this is the, the most, the most um, unique thing that I noticed. And since then, I always see when people have a channel, a definition, that is made out of both their moons, it's very unique. And I look at it, it's very, very special. And here it is so special because the whole channel is in the third line and the 18th is in detriment, the zealous in detriment, an obsession with correction that does not bring satisfaction. And uh, 58 is the gate of the joyous, very interesting electricity, the energy to fuel independent the in independent stimulation. So he was um, actually uh, fueling his own uh, obsession. He didn't need it to come from the outside. He had this electric drive to correct in, in a very, very strong way. Of course, trial and error, bonds made and broken, uh, anarchy, all the, all the um, uh, attributes of the third line are in this. And both his moons, I mean, he's, he's a manifester and this energy of correction went straight, straight to the throat with the possibility to manifest this. Uh, and it's a design of insatiability. And he was insatiable. He was an insatiable zealot about clean house. Um, his notes are also interesting. Uh, the unconscious notes, um, the 62nd gate, routine, yes, in the first line, routine, the ability to transcend the boredom of routine through a rich and daring fantasy life. And this is, again, all the details are connected to one another, fantasy life with the gate of fantasy that sits in his cross and dri drives him into experiences yes he wanted to experience something in a very emotional way <laughs> and of course the 61st gate occult knowledge in the first line yes the, the the individual pressure to know the unknown and potential madness and um 
if you read about his history, his younger years uh, were full of um, very um, interesting and, and mixed inspiration from people that had all these um, extreme uh, point of views about racism and stuff. And he just took it into his open head and because his life were were really difficult in the first um, in, in the first years as a child as a, as a young man and this open ego that of course uh, was feeling not good enough so he was just eating actually eating mentally uh, all these uh, ideas that he came and he came from the um, quarter of uh, initiation so he's here to he was here to uh, fulfill himself himself through mind so if the food of the mind wasn't um wasn't controlled or let's say discerned by strategy and authority then this influence was really the thing that uh, drove him into doing what he did later or initiating what he initiated later um, and of course, the conscious nodes, the conscious nodes, uh, the gates, the gate, gates of deafness, gates of uh, provocation and struggle and in, in, in fighting. Um, the 39th the troubleshooter, the natural gift for solving problems, unbelievable. The energy to provoke others by attempting to solve their, their problems, amazing or the emotional drive to dominate that provokes others. Both sides you could see from the environment and of course from him. And the 38th gate, misunderstanding in the sixth line, opposition without basis. This is the lesson in the stubbornness to face opposition with or without basis. So, and we can see his, um, this pressure from the open head, uh, and the, the pressure, pressure for the very, from the very, very defined route, these two pressures could really drive him to places that we know he went. Uh, another thing is his two Mercuries. We know that he had a very defined throat. Two channels are coming to the throat and, and of course a motor. And we see his voices, I think based on facts, I am here, I am aware now, I contribute, I lead, very, very strong. And his two Mercuries, the conscious Mercury, nurturing the power to share the process of growth with others or not. And he, of course, shared the process of what he thought is growth. And uh, 13 in the sixth line, the optimist, the ability to accept any limited interaction as a necessary step towards greater union but this is in detriment naivete the belief that mutual interest can be projected on others so he really thought that he's doing his doing a favor to humanity <laughs> oh my god he he shared this uh, process of growth with all with all of us this way or another of course we see the open centers doesn't know when enough is enough, needs to prove that he delivers and, and that he's certain of his opinions and avoids confrontation with the truth. Of course, this is just the tip of the iceberg, but a little bit. Another very, very interesting fact that I found, I didn't look only at his chart. I looked at all the people from the Nazi um, Head, headquarters that I could find. Um, really, I think like 10 people I looked at, all the names that are with him all the time and, and were there in building the Third Reich and all this. So it's interesting, a few facts. First of all, um, when a few of them together, the Penta was usually defined or almost defined. So this is, these are very strong Penta people. Also, most of them are left angle and a few are 5'1", as Hitler was. All of them, except one, and I'm also counting Eva Brown, which was in the background, his woman, and he, her chart really supported him. Um, 
it wasn't official, of course, but energy does the work. We don't need words, we need the energy, the chart. So all of them, except one, were open ego. And this is very interesting because the drive of the open ego was so hard with all these people. This, this was the drive that to prove and improve this way or another. Very interesting. Now, the only one who was defined in his ego, and this is so interesting because I didn't know I will do this presentation when the 48th gate is going to be in the sun. But look, look at this. The only one with a defined ego among these um, people that surrounded Hitler. Um, the only one is Heim Heinrich Himmler, which was the executor of the final solution. And look at his design. His design, uh, the, um, the, the 48th in the fifth line action in exaltment, the sun, the natural urge to apply energy to action, a taste for action. And then <clears throat> we see the earth objectivity in detriment the 21st gate the gate of control biting through the hunter in the fifth line in detriment the drive for elimination is so powerful that objectivity is related purely to cause and not to effect the ego whose willpower is applied subjectivity subjectively this is really really interesting and of course look at this manifesting channel from the ego to the throat he was really a material executor but now when we look at the connection chart between hitler and himmler this is really interesting look what's going on here the stream of taste completely from the root until the the throat all the integration the channel of the beat. By the way, many people that surrounded Hitler had the whole channel or gate 14, which gave the energy to his direction because he brought the vision of the direction in the second gate. And I think it's twice in his design. Yes, you see uh, both uh, Venus and Mars are in the second gate and many around him had the 14th gate. So you see an example here, um, the channel of the beat, of course, and a lot of penta power. You see this is only two people. The, mo the moment another comes in, then the whole penta is already defined. Um, the channel of transformation, emotional impact, love of humanity in the extreme, yes. <laughs> we have this 15th gate in uh, Himmler's Neptune. This is really eye-opening. And for me, it was very, very eye-opening because I was asking myself all the time when I was a child, because I grew on these stories and I read a lot about the war and about the Holocaust and it was deep in my energy. So I wondered as a projector, I asked myself, how could that be that one man can do such a thing and, 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 and how could it be that, that people are hearing him and doing as he says. And this is really this question about the leadership for good or bad. And of course, what I, I got the answers from human design. This is the only place that gave me the mechanical answers and I completely got it that first of all, Hitler was not the cause. I mean, Hitler by himself, one person by himself, even if he's a manifester and he's very powerful, he can't do anything unless there is the right connection. And by checking all the people around him, I could really see how the penta gets very strong, how wire channels are formed, and, and, and there is a very strong influence of the group. And of course, the timing is very important because the the whole program provides the energy and the cross of planning is a very good background frequency for something like that. And, and when we are not aware, when we are just uh, a herd, a herd of killer monkeys that just waiting for some kind of authority that will come from the outside and will tell us what's good for us, then a group of people with very talented group of people can do this and that's what they did and all the other people around they supported it and they were afraid not to not to support it so 
it's it just it's just mechanics it couldn't be prevented it, we can't prevent it unless we are in our strategy and in inner authority we we can't prevent ourselves from being part of groups and going with the flow of the group unless we are anchored in our uniqueness and this uniqueness is really mechanical it's not about thinking differently because people can think differently and would not have the power to stand on their own they will just be immersed they will be sucked into things and even people that were um that resisted everything that happened there couldn't do anything i mean there were here and there people that risked then risked their lives and blah 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 and say no but they were really such a, a small minority and this is because because there were there were no self anchor in this in, in in people so we have here in human design such a such an amazing uh, opportunity not to not to be um swallowed by these swamps these are swamps of of um collective energy of of collective um homogenization that can take us from ourselves in one minute and when there is such a powerful group like what happened in the in the nazi um the um i forgot the word all the time i forgot the word i forget the word uh, in the in the this um party the nazi party they had a lot of power they were very determined and they slowly but surely took advantage of the timing and 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 drew everything and, and 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 sucked everybody into their their dance and then the dance got very very big and that's it you have no control anymore and no way to to keep yourself from being part of this so it, it, it just shows me it shows me first of all that nothing can be done um with this program just we we look at this program it does what it does because we are part of the program each one has this chart which we are part of the program as hitler was a part of the program in an aspect of the human experiential way this is it there are things like this in the program but for us individually each of us when we are anchored in our types strategy and we are navigating through our inner authority and of course we sleep alone in our own aura then we are not being driven away from ourselves by this program it doesn't matter which aspect of the program we are talking about the transits or people not self people around us it's all the program so that's it <laughs> it was um it was something i really wanted to share and i did now <laughs> so let's let's let us have an um, interesting neutrino week and um anchor ourselves in who we really are bye bye <laughs>